I want to do a discovery today on not only a new fragrance that I came across, but a new house. And the house is called Flora Aiku. Um, really good things I've smelled from the brand and one I picked up. So um, stay tuned for Sound of a Ricochet from Flora Aiku. going on YouTube Tony here back with a, another discovery video um, trying to pump out these discovery videos because um, because of the coronavirus we're <laughs> indoors for the next couple weeks here in the area schools are shut down jobs are shut down or at least people are working from remote like myself so um, figured I'll uh, knock out a couple of discovery videos for you guys if this is your first time finding me um, this discovery format is a little different from my full uh, review format where I'm sniffing out something either that I just purchased a sample um, maybe even a blind buy and giving you my initial initial impressions uh, giving my initial impressions maybe give you a little tidbit about the fragrance how I found it and give it a letter grade um, if you like that type of content give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing and with that out the way let's get into it. now the packaging on this is pretty intricate it actually comes in a bento box um, and as you can see this is uh, a plastic material but it has like a little floral uh, pattern on it that's transparent you guys can see inside and once you open that bad boy up you have not only the fragrance but you have a um, travel size and I'm this I don't know exactly how much this is uh, this may be 10 mils 12 mils um, I think it says at the bottom yeah 10 mils and interesting with this the, the cap actually doubles as a travel atomizer so you take the top off and the 10 mil actually just slides into the top and it has its own cap inside the packaging and that just snaps on top and that's what you travel with that 10 mil and this is like heavy this is uh, well constructed has a good weight to it and then your bottle at home actually has a sp spare cap as well to protect your juice so cool packaging um, from Floracool Flora Aiku but all in all you guys want to know how it smells right let me give you a glimpse of what's in this so this brand um, so this brand has um, three different uh, collections to it um, they have the blue bottles which are uh, enigmatic flowers they have the white bottles uh, secrets of tea and spices and then they have the forbidden incense uh, which are in the black bottles um, so interesting um, and I believe the um, salesperson uh, shout out to Sasha uh, said that these were uh, crafted around um, Asian ceremonies so uh, looking forward to reading more about that and, and understanding kind of what the inspiration of the fragrances um, what the uh, inspiration of the fragrances were uh, and so this one sound of a ricochet has um, on the bottle it says a, dra a red dragonfly under the burning sky the sound of a ricochet I don't know if that's a poem or or what that what that actually means um, the ingredients in this they only have three ingredients vanilla absolute tonka bean and sandalwood um, I would imagine that this has a little more going on in it than that uh, I actually put that on skin so I can remind myself of what the the mid and the dry down you can really get that sandalwood in this so let's spray it and see what I think
Yeah, that's that is a beautiful fragrance. Now, typically, uh, I usually smell a fragrance a couple times before I buy it, I wear it, put it on skin, see how it progresses. Um, I smelled this in the store, actually put it on the skin because I really liked the way it smelled off paper and then immediately bought it. Um, I'm not disappointed at all. That is that is an A plus for me. So sandalwood is one of my um, go-to notes and fragrances. V vanilla is just a note that I like, whether it's men fragrance or women fragrance. I really like the note of vanilla and really have um, starting to have an appreciation for a well done tonka bean as well. It kind of smells almost like a sweet almond sometimes. And that's kind of what I get out of this. A plus for sure. Um, not disappointed in that uh, purchase at, at all. Uh, looking forward to see there may be more there's something slightly spicy about it too so there may be more than um, just those three notes of course uh, and it did say key uh, ingredients it didn't say only so that leads me to believe that there may be uh, more notes that's constructing it so definitely looking forward to diving into that a little bit more uh, just a tidbit on performance um, I probably sprayed this around two o'clock uh, and it was still going strong on the back of my hand um, like as far as projecting and uh, you know if I'm talking and waving my hand I'm just getting whiffs of it um, four or five six hours in like really strong performance so um, looking um, definitely looking forward to diving into that I'm not sure it doesn't say anything about the concentration um, but at the price point for this and uh, yeah it's an older parfum so um, this is only 50 mils and it was a hefty price tag on that one as well so uh, glad that at least the performance on that one I'm not gonna have to overspray it to uh, to get noticed with this one that's all for this discovery video uh, if you guys have had uh, any experience with this brand heard anything about it at all let me know I'll be curious to to get your thoughts um, and if, especially if you've smelled sound of a ricochet uh, give me your opinion on that and as always I will see you guys in the next one Peace. Flora Iku. Flora Iku. Flora Iku.